Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Alex Agard, and I'm the Senior Membership Associate at the Actors Fund. I hope you and yours are safe and well. Hi, everyone. My name is Jay Haddad, and I'm the Manager of Individual Giving at the Actors Fund. Thanks for joining us. We're thrilled to welcome everyone to today's event, Follow Spot, What We Accomplished Together. At today's virtual briefing, we look forward to sharing in more detail how the fund has responded to the needs of our performing arts and entertainment community over the past year, and the extraordinary impact of your support during the COVID-19 crisis. Today, you'll hear directly from our colleagues and board members about the work that we have accomplished with your help, as well as from members of our industry who've utilized our services. To start us off, please welcome the chairman of the board of the Actors Fund, Brian Stokes Mitchell. Thanks, Jay and Alex. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us. A life in the arts brings uncertainty, even in the best of times. And since its founding in 1882, the Actors Fund has provided a safety net for entertainment professionals throughout all stages of their lives. A year ago, our performing arts world changed in ways we never could have imagined. The entire entertainment industry shut down. But thanks to your help, our community did what we do best. We rallied together, took action, and continued taking care of each other. Last year, we helped 40,000 people with our health and wellness, career and life, and housing services. That's 71% more than in 2019. And our staff processed nearly $19 million in emergency financial assistance grants to more than 15,000 people in need. That's almost 10 times the amount of assistance we provide in an average year. We expanded and deepened access to our services, reaching people in all 50 states, Washington, D.C., Puerto Rico, and the Virgin Islands. We broadened our community. The number of non-performers making use of our services increased by 55%, and we help people from 126 different occupations, including those behind the scenes and non-union workers. We also saw increases in participation in our services from Latinx, Black, mixed race, transgender, and non-binary people. In addition, we provided services specifically for drag performers, and Black, Indigenous, and People of Color entertainment professionals. We reached thousands in need last year. And your support for A Life in the Arts gives me hope for the future of our entertainment community. We are indeed stronger together. Thank you. Now, to share more on the impact of these services, here's Chief Operating Officer Barbara Davis. Thank you, Stokes, and thank you everyone for your support. Shortly, you'll hear reports from members of our staff on our career, housing, health insurance, seniors, and mental health services provided this year. But first, I'd like to share more on the overall response to our community's needs. The Actors Fund works to help those in performing arts impacted by this pandemic is built upon preparedness, responsiveness, action, and collaboration. The fund is committed to understanding the unique needs of our community and harnessing resources to mitigate life's challenges, whether it's hurdles specific to life in the arts or the crises that befall entire populations during disasters, such as the public health, economic, so and socio-political turmoil of 2020. Within days of the shutdown last March, we quickly transitioned our emergency financial assistance process and almost all of our programs to online. This provided an opportunity to rapidly increase our operations to reach more people unfamiliar with what we do. In fact, last year, five out of six people served were new to the fund. With your support since March of last year, 
we have distributed more than $20 million in emergency grants to over 15,700 people around the country through our funds and those of 17 partner organizations. These grants are helping people with essentials like rent, food, medicine, and health insurance. But our work at the fund goes deeper than this vital financial safety net. Thanks to your support, we provide our entertainment community with programs and services that promote stability and resiliency in a business that's anything but stable. I'd like to take a moment to applaud our staff. Despite the challenges of remote work, the team quickly and effectively met our community's needs and has maintained the high quality of our services throughout this past year. The people who make use of our services say it best. Here's a thank you note we received this year. I just want to express my gratitude to all of you. I'm almost speechless, but I wanted you to know that once this pandemic is over and we are able to return to work and I am able to get back on my feet, I plan to spend the rest of my career being an advocate for the Actors Fund and look forward to being a donor when I am once again able. After many months of issues with unemployment, this relief couldn't come at a better time. Thank you. Now, with an update on our career services, here's National Director of the Career Center, Christopher Bloodworth. Thank you, Barbara. Hello, everyone. I'll open with this note we received from a dancer. Thank you for your wonderful career resources that you provide. I was able to attend the entire series of job hunting webinars, and the skills that I learned helped me land the job I have now. I will continue to use the Career Center as a resource indefinitely and always recommend it to my dance peers. The entertainment community has been deeply affected by this pandemic. It's estimated that 95% of artists and creative workers have lost income and 63% are unemployed. Hundreds of thousands of jobs are no longer being supported. While many industry professionals are accustomed to fluctuations in their income due to the episodic nature of their work, last year's COVID-19 closure of so many offices, schools, restaurants, rideshare companies, and other establishments that provide them with supplemental income closed off all revenue sources at once. Clearly, the need for our services was greater than ever. And thanks to your support, we rose to the challenge. Last year, our skilled counselors, employment specialists, and instructors provided services to more than 5,800 people. That's 164% more than in 2019, with two out of three people served new to the fund. In preparing people for a changing labor market, we discovered that many in our community have increasingly been examining their career options with a long view, understanding their skills and the ability to transfer the expertise to different fields is a driving concern. So we adapted our offerings. We continued our career counseling and workshops around longstanding topics such as resume writing and LinkedIn networking. And we added new offerings such as how to job search during a pandemic and innovation and entrepreneurship during COVID-19. In addition, our Wednesday forum series explored topics like recruitment trends, identifying creative work alternatives, and the future of work in a COVID-19 economy. Our Creativity Doesn't Age speaker series provided forums to explore the importance of work and community engagement in combating isolation and loneliness, career identity and reinvention, intergenerational collaboration, and more and our Spotlight series for stage managers, dancers, and comedians highlighted the transferable skills that people can use to generate work in other professional arenas. Together, we are preparing people for a changing labor market. Thank you. And now, here's Western Region Executive Director, Keith McNutt. Thanks, Christopher. 
I'd like to share this note we received from another recipient of our services. I would like to personally thank the Actors Fund for its generous financial gift. The funds will be applied towards my rent. A member of sag since 1992, I am thoroughly aware of how much my professional arts brothers and sisters have been impacted by the pandemic. I also realize how fortunate we are to have you on our side. The good that the fund has done and continues to do is immeasurable and felt throughout the entire entertainment community. Thanks to your support, the fund is helping people across the country. In addition to the career services Christopher outlined, in a few minutes, you'll hear more from my colleagues on our health insurance counseling, senior and mental health services. Our team here in the Western region saw a spike in the need for our emergency financial assistance last year. In fact, more than half of those receiving this assistance from the fund live in California. This includes people who work in all areas of our industry, not just actors, but be those behind the scenes and below the line. Here in Los Angeles, I'm happy to report on some exciting ways that together we're increasing housing stability. Despite the challenges around the pandemic, last year we safely and successfully completed a beautiful renovation of the Palm View, our affordable housing residence in West Hollywood that provides homes to low-income people with special needs. And I'm especially excited about our recent virtual groundbreaking on the Hollywood Arts Collective, a brand new affordable housing residence and neighborhood arts complex mm -hmm. now under construction in the heart of Hollywood. Here to tell you more is Vice Chair of the Board of the Actors Fund, Annette Benning. Hi, my name is Annette Benning and I'm Vice Chair of the Board of Trustees of the Actors Fund. We are a national organization whose mission is to support everyone who works in the entertainment community, not just actors, with programs from healthcare to housing that promote resiliency and stability in a business that is anything but stable. We do this every day, but our work is particularly important during extraordinary times such as this past year. From the beginning of the pandemic in early 2020 until now, the fund has distributed nearly $20 million in emergency financial aid to members of our community from all over this country who have been devastated by the effects of COVID. For those who work in every area of the performing arts, the Actors Fund is there for those who need it, no matter where you are. I happen to live in Los Angeles and I have a special feeling for my colleagues that live and work here. Well, so does the fund. For over a century, the fund has been supporting our colleagues who live and work here. In fact, more than half the people the fund serves live in California. Now we're going to do even more. It is my distinct pleasure to announce the Actors Fund is deepening its commitment to Los Angeles with the construction of the Hollywood Arts Collective on Hollywood Boulevard. We are building a dynamic arts community that combines 150 units of affordable housing with a multifaceted community-based arts building and a new home for the fund's Western region. This simple and powerful idea is to allow entertainment professionals to live, work, and perform in the center of creativity in Los Angeles. Their presence, their work will be the engine of the continued art space revitalization of Hollywood. Thanks, we're very grateful. Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer Lewisell and I'm Director of Entertainment Health Insurance Solutions. Hi all, my name is Jim Brakita and I am a Health Benefits Specialist here at the Actors Fund in New York. And Jennifer and I would like to take a few minutes to update you on the health insurance services we've provided to the community this past year. Following the shutdown and months and months of unemployment last year, performing arts and entertainment professionals faced a compounded crisis as thousands lost their health insurance coverage due to plan changes or no longer qualifying for their union or employer plans. Thanks to your support through our health insurance services, we helped more than 4,800 people last year. That is 45% more than 2019, with half of the people we assisted new to the fund. 
these individuals faced a loss of their health insurance. Um, and we provided unbiased help and for finding affordable, sustainable coverage. And thanks to a generous fund from Broadway Cares Equity Fights AIDS, we were able to provide more health insurance enrollment counseling for both union and non-union performing arts and entertainment professionals. And at the Friedman Health Center for the Performing Arts in New York City, more than 6,000 patients received care. That's 20% more than in 2019. Here's a recent note of thanks we received. I had to navigate the confusing world of health insurance this year. My counselor listened empathetically to my situation and asked me all the right questions to get the picture of what insurance plans would be available to me. And then got on a Zoom call and walked me step by step through applying for a plan. She truly went above and beyond for me. And I know that if she did this for me, she's doing this for anyone who asks for help. Together, we provided access to affordable healthcare options for our community. Thank you. So I had a long career. I got my SAG card back in 1989. And yeah, so three decades of being an actor, a performer. Um, a couple years ago, I hit rock bottom. I remember the day that I reached out to the Actors Fund, I was crying. I was just felt hopeless about life, hopeless about my career. They were so compassionate and I went down there. I got a one-on-one -on -one counselor who has been a lifesaver. I wouldn't be here without the Actors Fund without my counselor, without the amazing workshops that they offer that gave me so many tools to just put my life back together and regain resilience and hope. And now I have hope. Like I really, really am feeling so hopeful after two years of working with the Actors Fund and everything that they've given me. I just wanna say thank you to the donors. Thank you to the Actors Fund. Thank you to the wonderful counselors who have believed in me, who have helped me. My goal is to get back on my feet and become a donor for the Actors Fund. That is one of my very important goals that I, I want to accomplish in my life. And thanks to the resume that Transition for Dancers helped me put together, good news is I did get an interview last week for a job and they loved my resume they loved my creativity and i got the job so i'm on my way and feeling hopeful and thank you good afternoon i'm jordan stroll and i'm the administrator of the actors fund home in anglewood new jersey over the course of this past year the home has continued our quality assisted living skilled nursing memory care and short stay rehabilitation services for our entire entertainment community. In fact, the New Jersey Department of Health has inspected the Actors Fund home multiple times this year and has returned a perfect survey result each time. From the out outset of this pandemic, our staff has gone above and beyond in protecting those who are the most vulnerable while we still maintain the highest level of daily care. The team here at the home operated with swift precision to keep everyone, residents, their families, and staff as healthy and safe as possible with frequent COVID-19 testing throughout 2020. With the home closed to visitors, staff made sure to keep residents connected to their families and friends via Zoom, FaceTime, emails, phone calls, and window visits. While we continue to follow mandated state and federal guidelines, we are cautiously optimistic for the future. And we are happy to report that vaccinations began in January, and as of today, 99.5% of residents and 88% of staff are fully vaccinated. In addition, we have started a pandemic proofing construction project to further protect the building and facility. This is in addition and following our $34 million expansion project and renovation of the home which was completed in 2019. In closing, please join me in saluting all the frontline workers of the home who have been working tirelessly to keep the residents and each other safe. Thanks to your support, 
Our team has been there in countless ways this past year, providing excellent health care and supportive services to our residents. Now with more on our services for seniors, here's Tamar Shapiro. Tamar. Thanks, Jordan. Hi, I'm Tamar Shapiro, and I'm the National Director of Social Services at the Actors Fund. The Actors Fund has always served senior members of our community, and during the current crisis, we made sure to provide continuous care while prioritizing their safety. In New York, through our partnership with New York Cares, over 150 volunteers made more than 100 made more made more than 12,000 wellness calls to participants of our seniors program. In addition to providing comfort and company to vulnerable clients isolated due to the pandemic, these wellness calls identified issues like food insecurity and mental health concerns and allowed social workers and team members to provide timely pantry deliveries, medical resources, and additional levels of care to seniors. For our seniors who had been hospitalized, we coordinated safe discharge plans with hospitals and our rehab staff and assisted in arranging home care and meal delivery services. Throughout the pandemic, the fund also provided safe online socialization opportunities for seniors, including virtual book clubs, open mic nights, dinners, and even a cooking show. And when the Bette Midler Rooftop Garden at the Dorothy Ross Friedman Resident in Manhattan officially reopened last July, tenants were able to enjoy fresh air without having to leave the building. We arranged grocery and mass delivery for those unable to leave. In addition, our team has reached out to many seniors in our community to assist them in getting access to appointments for the vaccine. Together, we are supporting our most vulnerable. From all of us in senior services, thank you. I have been connected with the Actors Fund for many years now, and I've always been so grateful for the services they've provided me. As an artist, it has been empowering to know that there are people out there who really support us who help us hone the skills that we have so that we can continue pursuing the career of our dreams. Now, I have been lucky to be part of this women's group for self-care in the industry, uh, women who have some kind of ailment and health issue banding together where we can talk freely to each other as you know, that's not always possible you know, with our friends and family. So when the height of the pandemic hit, and we could continue working together and seeing each other over Zoom, it meant and still means so much to all of us. I, I don't know how I would have been able to continue living life in a sane way <laughs> and continuing my pursuit of not only the industry, just surviving in New York City without this amazing, amazing group of women. And that would not have been possible without all of you who have donated to the Actors Fund. So I cannot thank you enough. We are so grateful and we hope that you continue supporting the Actors Fund because it means the world to people like me and so many of my friends in this industry. Thank you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm Chris Smith, and I'm the social work supervisor for the Looking Ahead program at the Actors Fund. I'm Angela Babin, and I'm the social worker for the fund's Phyllis Newman Women's Health Initiative. Hi, everyone. This past year has posed significant challenges to the mental health of our people in our industry. The extended period of financial instability, socio-political upheaval, natural disasters and social isolation has taken an emotional toll on so many. As our community reached out over this past year for financial assistance, health insurance and career support, thanks to you, we were also able, we were also there to provide groups to help address issues like stress, anxiety and depression. And last year, we provided 53 support groups led by our trained staff for more than 500 individuals. 
Our online groups are designed to provide a safe space for attendees to facilitate discussion, share resources, support one another through current challenges, and develop coping strategies. In this stressful time of change and unknowns around the pandemic, these groups have provided support for people in handling the uncertainty, finding ways to cope, managing relationships and loneliness, providing ongoing care for loved ones, dealing with loss, and navigating hope and resilience. And we also offer daily mindfulness meditations to help people manage and reduce stress. While facing the challenges of the COVID-19 pandemic, the fund has also responded to the pandemic of devastating racism throughout our country. A commitment to embrace diversity and seek equity, inclusion, and dignity for all is built into the values of the Actors Fund. We are dedicated to listening to, learning from, and creating space for diverse voices that must be heard. So, the fund began offering multiple groups and forums to provide Black, Indigenous, and people of color entertainment professionals a safe space to affirm experiences, discuss the impact of racial injustice, and thrive within the industry. These groups include Healing with the Actors Fund group for Black identified and non-Black people of color entertainment professionals, Black Entertainment Professionals Town Hall, Mind Body Spirit group for Black women in entertainment, and for young performers, our looking ahead support groups for young black male identifying performers, young black female identifying performers and their parents. We've also started a new monthly group for black entertainment professionals. And last week, we hosted a forum on combating anti-Asian bias for entertainment professionals in our community. In closing, a client of one of our groups shared this feedback to give voice to our experiences to process them, to come out on the other side, knowing we are supported, give the greatest validation and healing insight. The BIPOC Healing Group has truly been a gift. Together, we are promoting mental health for our community, and we thank you. Now, here's our CEO, Joe Benincasa. Joe, got any final words? Boy, thanks so much, Angela and Chris, and everyone who's spoken today. And thank you all for joining us. With your help, we can build a solid way forward, helping our community come back safely and stronger than ever. You have helped pay for rent, groceries, medications, and medical bills, making sure that those in need stay on their feet. In addition, our programs in the virtual world are keeping the community connected with our services, from health insurance counseling and enrollment to affordable housing resources, career guidance, financial wellness, and mental health resources. None of this would be possible without your generous support. Thank you. You know, while there are no easy solutions to the challenges, we are committed to providing the services people need to weather this storm and to continue building resilient and stable creative lives. Thank you again for giving so generously this past year and always, and together, Let's move forward in supporting a life in the arts. Hello, everyone. On behalf of all of us at the Actors Fund, we'd like to say thank you. During this trying and unprecedented year, your generosity has made a tremendous impact. Your support helps provide vital services that promote stability and resiliency and provide a safety net to thousands of performing arts and entertainment professionals nationwide. This year, our online programming reached even more people across the country and our COVID financial assistance helped clients in all 50 states and Puerto Rico. We have continued to care for the senior members of our community by providing over 10,000 wellness calls and providing grocery deliveries and medical resources. Throughout our housing, healthcare, career, financial wellness, and social service departments, we've created programs and services to help entertainment professionals navigate and respond to the pandemic. And to help the performing arts community face challenges with their health insurance, we hired additional health benefits specialists to meet their insurance counseling and enrollment needs. All of these programs and many more were made possible through your generosity. Together, 
We are helping to ensure that those who contribute so much to our country's cultural vibrancy are supported, valued, and economically secure. We couldn't do this without you. Thank you for supporting a life in the arts and helping so many people.